For this tip, we're going to talk about a great way to paint your poppers. And uh, could be used to paint a variety of different things you may want to tie. And that's with a Copic or Copic airbrush. These can be purchased online, just Google Copic airbrush, spelled like that, C-O-P-I-C. And the way it works is that you can actually hook this up to an air compressor, like I have, or they also sell the air can that you can use if you want to be mobile. So it's a great little tool and this is how it works. It comes with these nice little uh, markers. In this case you can get a variety of different colors and the way it works is you just simply pop the cap off the marker. Normal air guns you require to put some paint and that sort of thing in there. This you just put that marker right in like so and the color obviously is going to spray, so we've got my uh, got my popper here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the air compressor, and we'll do a little test run. Okay, so the way this works is it's got this little button on the top, and we just hold our target material down beneath and start to spray it. Now the nice thing here, I've got a nice shade of green. If I want to switch, I simply pop that off, switch to my orange, for instance, and I can give this a nice little orange face on the popper, maybe some up the side. And there we go. I normally can use clear cure goo, you can use epoxy, or you can just leave it like it is, maybe apply some Sally Hansen's. Uh, another thing I like to do is mix a, uh, glitter in the epoxy or the clear cure goo, uh, depending on what I want to get accomplished. Another thing that's nice you can do with these is I create a variety of, of little stencil templates so that I can spray different designs onto the popper head. In this case, I've drawn or sprayed some little tiger stripes onto that thing. So you can do a lot of different things. The nice thing, it's hot swappable. You can swap it out, put it in another color, and you're good to go. No cleanup. Totally easy.